Good morning. And I stall. No stall. <laughs> Pardon the fog. We're back in Florida. Driving the Mustang. We're trying to shake this thing down to make sure it's sorted. Everything clutch related appears to be cooperating now. The only weird issue is there's something going on in the can loop that is throwing some sort of air code that keeps on making the AC compressor not kick on. The system is charged, it doesn't have any leaks and it works, but occasionally it just won't turn on. So it's gonna be a little bit of a hot morning ride over to the compound. Well, at least I get to enjoy driving this thing. Since it's the first day back since Four Mule Drift, uh, the guys usually take Monday off, so it'll probably just be me in the shop today. I wanna get the new place cleaned up. We got AC in there now. I got some other little fun stuff planned. Boom. This place has got AC now, so I'm excited. That means we can finally start to get set up in this shop. Uh, this building got so freaking hot without it. Uh, today, I'm hoping to tackle getting the floors all clean, moving some stuff around, and then maybe lifting the first ever car on the new lifts. Uh, the same guys that did Cletus's light poles over at his Freedom Factory did the electric install for all the lifts. They're gonna be doing some more electrical work here too, and it came out so nice. Uh, the way that they bent this like pipe or conduit, whatever you'd call it, to run the electrical wires looks so clean and I'm so happy with it. So, great people over there. Got it done super quick. This place is almost ready to start working. I've been whining for quite a few videos now about my side-by-side -side that unfortunately as soon as we moved into this place has been out of commission actually seems to have blown up or something catastrophic happened when we were using it as a chase car while we were filming the uh, compound reveal video but immediately enough the side-by-side -side blog guys are in town they're gonna stop by today and they might be helping me fix this thing and getting it back together so I think they're about to be here they're bringing some pretty cool machines too so should be a good day the crew just showed up. These rigs are something else. So uh, if you guys don't mind, maybe introduce yourselves real quick and tell me about these machines. Cause I know you kind of gave me a brief walkthrough, but to the naked eye, they look like basic things, but I just found out this one makes 400 wheel. That is true. <laughs> tell them about your car. Yeah, I'm Rick. This is a 2019 Maverick X3. It's got an Evolution Power Sports, uh, big turbo on it, zone rotor turbo, uh, built motor, CNC ported cylinder head. On E85, runs pretty hard. That's Not it. right now, I broke the wastegate actuator yesterday, so <laughs> doesn't make a lot of boost right now. That's cool. And then this is the two-stroke one? Yeah. Yeah, I was watching, I was watching videos on this uh, yesterday. So this thing, like how much power does it make? It looked like it was about as fast as the Can-Am, no? Yeah, it's not bad. It's about 190 horsepower, so not a crazy amount of power, but it's super light. It's about 500 pounds uh, lighter than your typical X3. So it's a 2020 X3, 72-inch uh, wide model, uh, completely stripped down. No plastics, just fundamentals, just what you need to make it run. And then it's got a uh, 800cc triple two-stroke in it from a snowmobile, a Moxie snowmobile. So. And this is, we, we can rip this here today? Yep, yep, we can so. rip this one for sure. It's a real fun driving experience. It's very different from uh, the rest of them, so. Um, again, like I'm like a super noob in the side-by-side -side world. Has anyone put a rotary in a side-by-side? -side? Because I feel like that'd be pretty neat. That's something we've talked about. Yeah. Nobody's done it yet. Nobody's done it yet. But uh, there's a couple of side-by-sides that would fit a rotary very well. I know they do it for like some of the desert vehicle stuff. I've seen uh, a few of those little trucks or whatever they're called. Yeah. But. Yep. We've uh, we've talked about it. That'd be sick. <laughs> I think it could happen. That's cool. So here's my machine. Tell me what you think. 
Yeah, she smoked, brother. 100%. Uh, it's actually the cleanest car we picked up from a YouTuber, so we got that going for us. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, it's not totally totaled yet, but the motor's pretty smoked on it. What's the uh, consensus, Doug? What do you think? I mean, I think she's probably got some internal damage, but uh, no big deal. It'll be an easy fix. We've seen this a hundred times. So we'll tear it apart, diagnose it, get it right for you. You were saying uh, it tends to be a typical thing to crack the ring lands on these things? Yeah, that's typically the first failure is you'll crack a ring land on the first on the stock piston and then you'll start to see that blow by, start getting some smoke and the uh, oil pump gear stripping out is not uncommon either. So luckily we've got fixes for all those things. Um, I never so showed this on a, on a video. We had taken this apart and just kind of not done anything with it, but. Yep, so we'll get you some billet gears in there, go through the engine, getting it all buttoned up, maybe throw a set of rods and pistons in it if you want to get wild down the road and uh, she'll be good to go. Big 3071, make 500 wheel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> now, we'll, we'll, keep it, uh, we'll keep it slow enough so I don't kill myself in this thing, but I'm excited. He's ripping, boys. He's ripping. Afterwards, he said, Hey, 
Can you just put a two stroke in, in my machine? <laughs> side-by-sides are missing is exciting sound yeah you know yep yep so this is just like that's sick get your heart racing man this thing in trails is gonna be insane oh yeah god <laughs> you were wheeling it i think that's the hardest drive it's gotten oh, yeah, yeah that was awesome <laughs> i can feel it was picking up the inside tire on those hard ones dude. heck yeah going hard. i've never drifted a side-by-side -side on pavement it kind of scares me just because i know like sometimes if you lift and you're like turning yeah. it'll want to roll but yeah it felt right. very planted yeah. good man yeah this one's not exactly set up for drifting either she's pretty high in the air but uh that was awesome. <laughs> Bro, thank you. All right, Mr. Mr. Kevin, power washing guy, landscaping guy, now is a trail clearing guy. So I didn't really fully introduce because we weren't able to show it off, but I guess in this video we'll get to show off the trails you've been working on. Day three, day yeah. three working on trails. It's coming around. You got a rig now? What? Oh yeah, it's my rental rig. My girlfriend's uh, parents. You're Shout out to Justin and Jody Ma for the, uh, <laughs> the rental. <laughs> so you're like, hey, listen, I got to use it for work to make sure I get these trails good, right? Exactly, because I told them I was using the tractor, but it's not a side by side, and I'm making side by side trails and not tractor trails. So, man, you, you, you got away with your words. Tell you what. <laughs>
I know it wasn't much, but that was officially the first trails here. So Kevin right. made those. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> just for you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Yeah, a little more muddy than I, I'm, I would have liked. I'm not a real big mud guy over here, but. You're in the wrong state, brother. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Give me the dry season. I don't know, look excited. <laughs> you can't hear a thumbnail. <laughs> oh, funny. All right, that should work. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I'm excited. I appreciate you, man. Dude, for sure. Go have fun on those jet boats. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you guys. Safe travels. Thank you. I look forward to seeing what y'all are able to cook up with her. A few weeks. Months. <laughs> we'll get her dialed. Bunch of awesome dudes. It's cool getting to hang out. Great way to start the day. Uh, wanted to apologize for not uploading yesterday. One of those things where I've just been super behind and rather than uploading a video, didn't really have much going on with it. I figured I'd just wait a day and I appreciate you guys understanding. Um, also, make sure you guys send Mike some love if you didn't see on social media. He's got a pretty insane knife that he picked up. It's like a really cool, fancy one and uh, wound up slicing his thumb open and it, I think, cut one of his tendons. So he's actually in surgery right now. He's in good spirits, but I know you guys wishing him to feel better. And some positivity can always go a long way. He's definitely bummed, so that's where he's at right now, but hopefully he'll be back soon and feeling better before he knows it. Found a lot of, a lot of good stuff with S15 um, in regards to the front grip setup and little changes and stuff. So uh, tomorrow, or I should say the next day's video, we'll dive a little bit deeper into that. Uh, also, market calendars. There's going to be a merch drop, not today, but on Friday. We got a restock of some stuff, as well as those socks that you might have seen on my Instagram story. I'll tell you more about that in the next video. But mark your calendar. They're gonna go fast. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. And I'll see you soon.